This video describes a solution to lesson three, practice exercise C, where we want to select park and ride facilities that meet a certain threshold of parking spaces and then copy them to their own new feature class. After importing the ArcPy site package on line four, we set up a variable representing the threshold. In this case, uh, we want at least 500 parking spaces. Putting this variable at the top of the script is helpful in case we want to adjust the value and test the script with, uh, with other values. Uh, it's easy to find at the top and not buried down later in our code. In uh, line six, I'm setting up the ArcPy workspace to be uh, the location of my file geodatabase. I didn't do this in the previous two exercises, but this is a nice way to work with file geoda geodatabases in the sense that from now on, if I want to refer to a feature class, I only have to use its name. I don't have to supply the full path. And you'll see that later on in the script. Line nine is probably the most critical line of the script. It's setting up the SQL query expression to get the park and ride facilities that have greater than that number of parking spaces. So if we were to look at this in pro, where the park and ride facilities are the black dots, we would uh, do this sort of thing using select by attributes. We'd pick the park and ride layer, uh, new selection, and we would create a, a SQL where clause where a prox par is greater than 500. And I'll run that. And so that would give us uh, the facilities, the large park and rides that are primarily in the Seattle and Tacoma areas. So uh, trying to do the same thing in a script. Um, here we, again, looking at line nine, we're creating that expression. Notice that you need to convert that integer value uh, of 500 into a string so that you can concatenate it with the rest of the query expression. However, you don't have to enclose the value in quotes uh, because when you build queries based on numeric values, the number is not put in quotes, just as we saw in Pro a moment ago. So once you have that query string all set up, you can run the make feature layer tool, as we saw in the previous exercises, to get a park and ride feature layer with just those selected facilities that meet the criterion. So there's three parameters to pass in here. The first one is the name of the feature class that we're operating on. And again, because we set up the workspace, we can just put in the uh, name of the feature class rather than the full path. The second parameter is the name that we want to give to the feature layer. And again, we could name that uh, anything we want, and it's just going to reside temporarily in the computer's memory. And then finally, the third parameter is that SQL query expression, which is uh, optional. If we omitted it, we would just get all the facilities but we just wanna have the, the big ones uh, that meet our criteria, so we, we plug in that parking query. Once we have that feature layer, we can run the copy features tool to make a brand new feature class with just the selected features. Uh, so the two parameters here, the first one is the name of the feature layer that uh, is the source of the features that we wanna copy. And uh, remember in line 12, we, we called that park and ride layer, so that's where that's coming from. Then the second parameter, big park and ride facilities, is the name that we want to give to the new feature class that we're creating. And so once we've done that, uh, we have a new feature class and we can run the delete tool to clean up our feature layer. And that's all we need to do in this script.